Hi, I'm Dr. John McCallick. I'm an assistant professor of accountancy at University College Dublin. I published a book on introductory financial accounting using IFRS that you can download at the link below. This playlist of videos explains all the important concepts and techniques that are in the book and that you will need to prepare basic financial statements. I've included a, a link to the uh, playlist of videos uh, below as well. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this content helpful. Hi, this video is about the presentation of the statement of cash flows. So the statement of cash flows, um, the headings that we use uh, are as follows. We have three major sections. The first one is net cash inflow or outflow from operating activities. This covers all of the cash flows from the usual operations of the business. It also covers uh, interest paid and taxation paid. There is an option under IFRS to put these into financing, these last two interest paid and taxation paid. Uh, in, in this textbook, uh, we're going to stick with keeping them in operating activities, which is the usual, um, the usual place that you see them in most uh, company uh, financial statements. So in this operating activities section, uh, what you will start with is the profit before tax. You will add back depreciation and then you will adjust for a number of working capital items, inventory, uh, receivables and payables and then you will work out what interest pay was paid and tax was paid and that will give you your uh, net cash inflow from operating activities. The second major section is the capital expenditure and financial investment. This section shows you um, what money was spent on new non-current assets, so long-term assets and uh, any money that was uh, received from um, uh, selling non-current assets or disposing of old non-current assets. And these are, these are uh, cash flows. They are the money paid out for the new assets and the money received for disposing of the old assets. Financing, the financing section this includes uh, cash flows from debt, share capital raised and debt paid back. So if we've any new loans that have been issued, they go in here as the amount of cash that we receive from the new loan. If we pay back loans, then uh, the amount that we pay back goes into this section. And also um, uh, we look at um, any share capital that's raised. So we look at the equity section of the balance sheet to see has the share capital uh, changed. And the last thing then in this section is equity dividends paid. Um, uh, and, and we have to be given some information about this or work it out from uh, the, the change in retained earnings between two balance sheets. Um, uh, so we can reverse engineer that figure if we need to. The cash flow statement reconciles to the movement in uh, the bank balance. So when we're finished with the cash flow statement, when we have prepared these three sections and we've looked at each item within these three sections, it should reconcile to um, the change in the cash balance. So if the cash went from, you know, 100,000 to 300,000, the change in cash was a positive 200,000. That is what the cash flow statement should uh, reconcile to. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you found this content helpful. Bye.